Nations across the world have announced that they are developing fighter aircrafts of the future. This news is not only exciting, but it's also alarming. From the creation of a sixth generation aircraft by the United States, to China's new stealth bomber that renders the defenses of allied countries useless, here are the fighter aircrafts of the future that have got everyone talking. The US Navy and Air Force are developing sixth generation fighter jets that are set to take on the future of warfare. The new stealthy supersonic semi-autonomous fighter jets are designed to maneuver undetected through heavily armed enemy airspace, evade radar detection, and jam the adversary's command and control systems with EW weapons. These fighters will gather, analyze, and transmit targeting data across huge areas of terrain in milliseconds using AI-empowered computing, launch and operate groups of nearby mini-drones, fire air-launched hypersonic missiles, and then incinerate enemy aircraft with fighter jet-fired precision laser weapons. The US Navy is developing the FAXX Carrier Launch Stealth Fighter, a next-generation platform expected to replace the Super Hornet as it moves into the 2030s. The FAXX will complement and fly alongside the F-35C and will likely be stealthy, AI-enabled, much faster than an F-A-18 or even F-35C. Its largest margin of difference may reside in its ability to incorporate paradigm-changing, unprecedented new innovations. The new planar planes will likely fire hypersonic weapons, operate as manned or unmanned autonomous aircraft, and certainly leverage manned-unmanned teaming and new generations of sensing, weaponry, and networking technologies. The US Air Force's 6th Gen Next Generation Air Dominance Jet is already airborne although little to nothing is known about it for obvious security reasons. These fighters will be capable of operating in small groups or as a family of stealthy manned and unmanned systems. They could provide forward surveillance and potentially identify launch sites for China's highly touted carrier killer missiles. Operating as aerial nodes or forward reconnaissance, sixth-generation carrier-launched aircraft could use stealth, speed, and networking to detect and potentially even intercept attacking anti-ship missiles. This kind of tactical ability would be brought to fruition through new dimensions of networking technology wherein multiple platforms could gather, organize, and transmit time-sensitive intelligence and targeting data across multiple domains at great distances. Newer applications of AI, coupled with breakthrough transport layer technology such as optimal communication, encrypted RF signals, or newly hardened data links. Most of all otherwise disparate or disconnected platforms are increasingly being built with interfaces and the kind of technological infrastructure sufficient to support cross-domain interoperability. The alignment and collective execution of these technical attributes rests almost entirely on the continued pace of Pentagon and industry innovations striving to prepare for and anticipate the unknown future warfare environment. Russia has announced the development of the MiG-41, a sixth-generation fighter interceptor currently being developed by the MiG Aircraft Corporation and is intended to be able to perform missions in the Arctic. It can carry many weapons and ammunition, including a multifunctional long-range interceptor missile system and anti-missile laser weapons. At the same time, it can be turned into an unmanned aircraft. The aircraft should enter service as a replacement for the MiG-31 in 2028. Russia plans to use this fighter as a combat aircraft specifically designed to intercept enemy bombers, reconnaissance aircraft, and cruise missiles in the air. The MiG-31 was developed by the Mikoyan Design Bureau, now RAC MiG, in 1976 and entered service in 1983. It is the main force of the Russian Aerospace Forces to gain air supremacy and support aerospace defense attacks. To replace this model, as well as to strengthen the security of national defense in a new environment, Russia urgently needs a new system of fighter interceptors, which will have high stealth, high speed, greater flight range, and which can carry the latest models of aerospace subsystems. With these goals, and with the approval of Russian President Vladimir Putin, the developments at the MiG-41 began. This type of interceptor uses a new stealth technology. It is expected that the speed will be 4 to 4.3 Mach, and the combat radius of action is 1,400 to 1,500 kilometers, which significantly exceeds the range of the MiG-31. The aircraft will be equipped with the latest highly efficient equipment for targeted search and detection, and its ability to reflect radar signals will be even more modernized and effective. 
In the future, it will be able to work with the global defense system of Russia, be able to exchange data in real time, thereby ensuring the receipts of information from external targets and other elements of the system. The MiG-41 will be able to carry out space missions. The head of the RAC MiG said that the MiG-41 will not only be able to deal with air targets, but it can also be equipped with new aerospace weapons to defeat spacecraft in low orbit. Similar tests have already been conducted in Russia. Overall, the development of the sixth generation stealth jets by Russia is alarming news for the West, as it signifies Russia's leap forward in their ability to project power and dominate the battle space. With advanced networking, communication, and weapon systems, these aircraft will be able to operate effectively in the most challenging environments, providing Putin's air force with a decisive edge in conflicts. China's H-20 stealth bomber is almost ready for its first flight, which is raising concerns among the United States and its Pacific allies. The H-20 bomber is designed to carry conventional, nuclear-tipped, or hypersonic stealth cruise missiles, and can elude US and Allied air defenses while completing China's nascent nuclear triad. Little information is available on the H-20 bomber because it is classified. But photos released by China North Industries Corporation show it has a flying wing design, two adjustable tail wings, a frontal airborne radar, and stealth air intakes covered in dark grey radar absorbent material. The H-20 bomber may have a 4,000 to 5,000 mile combat radius, a maximum takeoff weight of 200 tons, a payload of 45 tons, and fly at high subsonic speeds. China aims to have the H-20 at operational capability by the end of the decade, roughly matching the United States timeline for its B-21 Raider, the successor to the B-2 Spirit stealth bomber. Although China is one of three countries that operate strategic bombers, its long-range bomber force is notably laggard. In addition to concerns about the H-20, there is growing concern that China may catch up to the United States in military strength, sparking a new Cold War. Although China's present air and naval capabilities may be insufficient to support the H-6N in a long-range strike role, the commissioning of the Type 055 cruisers may have changed that. In addition, China has yet to master stealth technology, which the US has no established defenses against. China has been conducting long-range bomber flights since 2014 to project military power in the Asia-Pacific region. Chinese state media published footage of an H-6N strategic bomber releasing a nuclear-capable missile that appeared to simulate an attack on a US military base in Guam. Although China may not have the capability to match the US in military strength in the immediate future, it is making strides towards this goal. The H-20 bomber, which is nearing its first flight, may signal a new era of rising geostrategic tensions. Let us know what you think about these aircrafts in the comments section below, and subscribe for more content from us. See you in the next video.